it's AGP here. So it's Wednesday, so y'all know that I'm here with another video. You know, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule is happening. I dropped one on Monday just talking about how people were starting to get worried about whether or not Cyberpunk 2077 was going to be delayed for a second time because, you know, it was supposed to come out in April. Um, but they delayed it to September. It's still coming out on September 17th, but you know, if you didn't check out that video, you should go, you should go check that out. Um, but today I just want to talk to y'all about, if y'all saw my, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Dark Horse comic books, art book, uh, video. Yeah, I'll put it, I'll put the picture up here for you. You can check that one out too. Uh, it was just about how Dark Horse Comics is really teaming up with a lot of these gaming companies to make their art books. And I mentioned in that one that they're making one for Cyberpunk 2077 as well as Ghost of Tsushima and The Last of Us Part 2. So maybe I'll make a video about The Last of Us Part 2 one. I don't know. But if y'all like you know, info like this or like consistent info about new AAA games coming up that you are excited for like I am, this is the channel to be at so y'all are in the right place. Um, so yeah, basically they making one for Cyberpunk 2077. They'll call it a coping DM or a lore or whatever. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, I wasn't supposed to fade out here. That was a complete accident. Uh, my bad. Cope and Demon is a collection of concise but detailed information, you know, basically that, that's in a book or publication, so. But that's, that's all that is. It's just the art book. It's a fancy word for saying art book. With, like, detailed art book, there's gonna be info in there, too. Um, but that's what's up. It comes out June 17th. Yeah, I know the game comes out September 17th, so they're giving it to us three months early, which is nice. Yeah, you'll just get a you'll get a good look. So it'll probably explain all the gangs and the 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 different districts and the different weapons you can have and the the different cyberware. The the you know if you want to play as a hacker or another, you know, there's a lot of different things for it. Uh, it'll explain the different ways that you can have an outcome of a story. Basically, it reads that it's an extensive examination of the rich lore of a dystopian uh you know city you know <laughs> that's basically what it says uh that's what the headliner says for the book uh, this is the picture that they give us when we're talking about the book here um so that's that's what's up um and the only other thing i want to talk to y'all about you know that there are some figures if you guys are collectors uh well first the collector's edition seems to be sold out everywhere already so there's probably other places where you can get it, but if I were y'all and you wanted to get the collector's edition, which is running at $200 um, for Cyberpunk 2077, I would get on that because, you know, it's early, but, you know, uh, a lot of people have already bought their collector's edition, so they're ahead of the game. If y'all want to get that, you should hurry and get it, but there's other collector's items like these figures, these one by six ratio or one to six ratio figures of the female version of v and the male version of v and the bike that's in it uh the yaiba kosanagi bike motorbike that they have in it that you saw on some of the trailers um those are running pretty expensively high but you know if you if you like collectors items and you got it like that i say go get it um it would be an awesome thing to have that on top of the collector's edition is is would be a lot of money because like the motorbike comes with one of the, you can get the motorbike in a bundle with the female version or the male version of the figure, um, but it'll be $600 for you uh, just for those two. And if you get the ultimate bundle with all three, the female version and the male version and the bike, it'll be $800, $799. And if you were to get the collector's edition of the game too, you have just spent $1,000 on Cyberpunk 2077 alone, but you know what? If it's the only game you're gonna buy for the next ten years, then, then, <laughs> then you know that that's that's fine, you know. But um, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about a quick video, just so y'all know. I'll be back on Friday. I'll probably try to put some gameplay on too for my for my Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and and, and corporate of streaming day. But you know, that's that's for other talks. Um, y'all should check out my other informational videos if you guys haven't. There will be more Ghost of Tsushima news on here. I'm, I'm on the fence about uh, putting up The Last of Us Part 2 info only just because, you know, everybody does The Last of Us Part 2. But it is going to be, I really do think it's going to be a great game and experience, as I do for all these. So, um, but yeah, well, well I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. You know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'm going to catch y'all later. All right. Peace. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn.